Hi guys, it's Hammy Hits, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you my hamster Pika's diet. So let's get started. So let's get started with the diet. So um, first, I have her food bowl, and this is green ceramic. It's really pretty, and I really like it. Um, if you can see in the light, it's kind of bad shading, but whatever. And um, I normally um, I give her a tablespoon of food. So let's see. <clears throat> Here's my tablespoon, and for the um, the brand that I use is Vitacraft, or Vitasmart, or Vitacraft, whatever you want to say it. And, sorry, it's backwards on my screen, but, you know, you can, I just told you what it is, so it doesn't really matter. And, um, you can just see what it looks like. And Pico loves this, because it has oats and really good stuff. The only bad, um, upside down thing about it is that it has corn and peas, which is really stinky, which is really bad. So, um... I'll just like open it up and get a tablespoon. So then I'll put it into my hand and I'll pick out all the corn and peas. Oops. And um, so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done picking out all the corn and peas. So um, you can see and you don't have to wait through me picking out all this junk stuff. Okay. Okay, so I've picked out all the corn and peas and this is how much was in there. There's still probably like tiny, tiny pieces. But you don't really have to worry about it that much. It's not that big of a deal. So um, this is what it looks like. And here, I'll just pick up that one. So this is what it looks like now. And it's not that much inside. And the lighting is horrible. But um, let's get that around here. Because, like, nothing is perfect. Like, whatever. You, you know what I'm talking about. And um, let's see. Let's put these aside. Okay, so after I've picked out all those corn and peas, I have rice puffs, and Pika loves rice puffs. Um, I'll show you later on if they say it gets better. They like these puffs of rice. Oops, I keep dropping them. And um, Pika, like, literally loves them. So I'll give her about three of these nice big ones. So I'll give her one, two, three, three, four, whatever she do with those ones. And then I'll put the cat back on. And then I'll go to my Cheerio dish. And she loves Cheerios, so I'll give her like two Cheerios. One, two. Okay. So this is what it looks like now. Um, you can't really see it still, but whatever. Um, I don't want to spill it anywhere or anything. Um, you know what? It's it's good. Here, let's see if I can move that down. So you can see how much that is. So that's actually way better right there. So that's quite a lot of food for a tiny hamster like her. So, and then, um, um, since she is going to diabetes, I will give her, um, well, like, probably once in a while, I'll give her a, a little sugary treat. Um, either, like, part of a yogurt drop or, like, one of these papaya things. Um, I don't know, I'll pick a random color. Okay, it's yellow, so let's like, oh, I'll give her a whole one, she's back. Um, so here they are. We also have like these, there's also other kinds of, um, treats. There's like these honey stick things, but I would not, if your hamster is either Camp Eldor, um, Camp Eldorf hamster, a winter white, a Chinese, or Chinese, um, or any kind of dwarf hamster, but actually, you know what, Chinese aren't considered dwarf hamsters, but they are still prone to diabetes. Um, you, you want to make sure that you don't load them up with sugary stuff and make sure that you make sure they don't have any, um, corner peas. I mean, you can give them corner peas in a little, like, once in a while, but not every single day because that's just going to cause some problems. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> okay, so now nothing really changed, but I just added a cute little thing. So that's what Pika's bowl looks like. And then you can go see what she thinks of it. So let's go test it out down the stairs.